Om Shanti and very welcome to you. We are here with 28th of July's call of blessing. We missed out a day before, so I'm recording it today. So here, Supreme Father wants us to experience immunity. Immunity from others' thoughts, words and actions so that we are constantly in connection with God. So that things don't disturb us in our world and we are not constantly brooding over it. We are not constantly thinking or overthinking about it. So God here says that may you experience the stage of being immune by being constantly stable in the stage of a detached observer. See, we can look at the world when we see something happening, some kind of a uh, mishap happening or something good happening to somebody, it could be a neighbor, could be a distant person, could be someone in the town. We observe it like a detached observer. If it's not affecting us, we observe it like a detached observer. Imagine the floods. People were seen losing their houses. The people who were there on the top of the hill, they saw people losing the houses next to the river. Now they were detached observers. They might be like, oh my God, what's happening? Oh, so sad. Oh, so bad. But you can be a detached observer and still have good feelings and good wishes for them. Instead of getting into, getting into the feeling of, oh my God, of panicking yourself, God says, you look at things as a detached observer. Even your own part, if somebody is a meditator, somebody who's taken the knowledge of Brahma Kumaris, he would know that there might be a time when we could lose our own house. It could be our own house going down the river. It could be our own house going down the landslide. It could be our own house which is going to get destroyed in the earthquake. Now, am I a detached observer at that time? Because I have to not just be a detached observer for other people's drama, but I have to be a detached observer for my own drama so that I am stable. Now this is all about stability and that's what Bhagavad Gita and all the different respective Shastras or religious texts talk about stability. That means complete stability of the soul. That can only be achieved when we are detached from things which are happening around in the old world. So God says, may you experience the stage of being immune by being constantly stable in the stage of a detached observer and become an easy yogi. Easy yogi means somebody who is easily connected to God and not disconnected because of things and situations around. So those who are detached observers in terms of their bodily relations, something happened to you, it happens to your bodily relations with mother, father, brother, sister, uncle, aunt and all, and their bodies can something happen to our own physical bodies and something can happen connected to our physical body. See everything around us, even this phone is connected to this body. This is something which we do or use, this laptop which we use for our own physical comforts and for our own physical uh, entertainment and other things, right? So something can happen to these things or these gadgets and these things around in the house, something in the kitchen goes bad or something in the toilet, something in the machinery sec section goes bad and these are all related to the body. That is, those who are detached also become detached observers of this old world. The tsunami is happening, there are white fires happening in certain countries, but you are a detached observer of the old world while connecting with others and seeing everything when we are meeting other people even if they don't have good feelings towards us even if they are jealous of us or if they have bad wishes for us and seeing everything which is happening around the world they are constantly detached and loving they're detached from those feelings they're not going into how and what and where and they're not howling or they're not screaming around or they're not over excited when something good happens or they're not overly sad or depressed when something bad happens to them and that's why they're loving to God. This stage enables them to experience being easy yogis, have a connection with God, I the soul, I'm connected with the supreme soul who's up there. This is called living together and yet remaining immune. So we are living together with God and still immune from the world around us. Souls are not immune, but the stage of soul consciousness is the stage of being immune. See, we souls are within a physical body. If something happens around in the world, if you touch a hot plate, obviously the soul is going to feel the pain of burn on the hand. So we are not immune, but soul consciousness is a stage of being immune. That means you can think it's not me who got burned, it's not my hand which got burned. It's my hand actually which got burned, not me the soul which got burned. So there's a difference between these two things. You can have a different separate feeling. You can have a feeling of, oh, my hand got burned. It's my hand. It is a soul who says this hand is mine. So the, my hand got burned, but I the soul did not get burned. My body could be having some disease, but I the soul don't have the disease. 
either soul have got separate diseases which are lust, anger, greed, ego attachment. Those are the diseases of the soul. But diseases of the body, problems of the body are separate. So that is a soul conscious way of thinking and separating and detaching yourself from the reality of what is the truth. That means I am perfect, I am okay, but the body has got some problems. That is being beyond any effect of at or attraction of Maya. So I don't have any effect of even if something happens to the body, something diseases there in the body. Because I am perfect, I am happy, I am connected with God. Something is wrong with the body. That means something is wrong with the instrument. That is the body. All the attractions of Maya. That means things around me. Somebody is growing in their life financially. I could get jealous, but I am detached observer. I am looking at their part. I am very happy for them. I am like, wonderful. Go ahead. Move ahead. So nothing is attracting me, even Maya is not attracting me, even jealousy is not attracting me, even uh, greed is not attracting me. So those who stay in this stage are protected from being attacked by Maya. That is detached also. How do you reach this stage is what you learn from Akhima Reach. You are most welcome to take this beautiful knowledge in a center nearby you. Om Shanti with this.